It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Howdy, howdy. Good morning on uh, Monday. Hope your weekend was fantastic uh, today. I don't want to break the news to you, but you probably need to know if you don't. Today's tax day. If you so don't know, is, you might have problems, in fact. so It is the deadline. We're going to get ours be in the today. bearer. Yes. I have to go pick mine up from our preparer and then send it off. So uh, that's on our schedule today, but uh, we got a lot of news to talk about. So let's do that. All right. Another ATM was targeted by thieves over the weekend, this time in Barry County. At least two stolen vehicles were involved in the theft, including a van that was stolen from Grandview Baptist Church. And once again, the thieves got away. So police are on it. Uh, a fire badly damaged a building in Bolivar over the weekend. It started very early Sunday morning at a building used for construction work and took several hours to get it under control. Every fire department in Polk County worked on the blaze. No word yet on what started it. Homeowners in some of Springfield's oldest neighborhoods could get $9,000 in grant money to fix up their house. Uh, rest- well, thousands of dollars, I'll explain, 9000 and 2500 roughly. But uh, Restore SGF is offering the grants to people in Doling Park East, Fast Night, Grant Beach, Metter Park East, and Woodland Heights. One grant offers up to $2,500 to help with improvements on the outside of the house. Uh, Another grant offers $9,000 that I mentioned uh, to people making down payments on a house when they're buying one in one of those five neighborhoods. So Mm. some cash flowing to help people out. Interesting. The the point of it is to beautify Springfield and just uh, spruce up neighborhoods. So To restore Springfield, as it were. Restore SGF. That's right. Restore SGF. There you go. Missouri State University is planning a new $25 million building on campus. It will be built on what is now a parking lot in front of Monroe Apartments. Uh, That building will house the Cliff Smart Advancement Center, named after President Cliff Smart of the university, who said he was stunned to hear an anonymous donor wanted to help fund the building and then name it after Smart. It's pretty nice. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty nice surprise. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, groundbreaking uh, will happen sometime next year. Okay. Uh, Kingdom Coffee is expanding in Springfield. If you're a coffee shop lover like myself, then you're excited about that. Uh, It's planning to open a new location later this year at what used to be Boyd Elementary School. The building is being turned into commercial space with apartments. Kingdom Coffee already has two other locations in the SGF. You probably heard about this over the weekend. Israel uh, was attacked by Iran. Iran sending over more than 300 launches of drones, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles. But 99% of them were intercepted by Israel's military, which is astounding. The United States worked with Israel to do that and to protect the people of Israel. Uh, Israel right now is saying it will respond to the Iran attack, quote, when the time is right. We shall see. Kansas City Royals catcher Salvador Perez was hurt yesterday in a collision at home plate with the Mets' Starling Marte. Uh, Happened in the fourth inning of yesterday's game. The Royals ended up losing to the Mets 2-1. They are now the Royals 10-6 on the season. Hmm. This is a story in the Ozarks. I mean, it could happen elsewhere. It could happen in Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, but a cow was on the loose. Um, on I-44, no less. So that's dangerous. Uh, there was a crash near I-44, uh, right by Jerome and a trailer flipped over and a cow was ejected. So then rescue teams, if you will, was trying to get the cow back into the, uh, place where it was supposed to be on Saturday night, but they couldn't quite get it wrangled. So they had to call in the real cowboys to help. And at last check this morning, we hadn't heard, I hadn't heard yet if the, the cow had been wrangled or not so we'll see yeah i remember um i hope that i remember this correctly because i don't want to i don't want to be wrong um but many people will remember linda russell simmons from ky3 (laughs) i remember sitting in a meeting one day and like the assignment meeting in the morning which is where all the reporters for the morning decide what they're going to cover for the day and linda gets a text and she's like excuse me 
my cow's out of the pen <laughs> and she, she took off and she was raised in Kansas on a farm. And I don't know what it was, but I've never laughed so hard in my life because her neighbor was calling her to let her know that her cow was out. And she was like, there are more pressing matters than breaking news. I got to go. This is my own breaking my, news and I got to go get it. <laughs> get my cow back in the pen. I don't know why it just cracked me up. I was like, welcome to reporting in Springfield, Missouri. That's right. You never know what can happen. Yeah. If she's watching, I hope that I, that I said that right. But I just remember getting a really good laugh at her expense. Um, this Saturday, Clean Green Springfield will be accepting large items that can be difficult to get rid of. So the drop-off is happening from 8 to 2 on Saturday at 404 North Jefferson, which is in downtown Springfield. Uh, Springfield residents can drop off big things like tires or mattresses, all of it for free. Again, this Saturday from 8 to 2. That's a nice service, man. If you got something in your garage or in your backyard that's been out there forever, yeah. now is the time. I really uh, hope that that's not in your backyard. Listen, for your neighbor's sake, if you have a mattress in your backyard or even a bunch of old tires, do it. Do it for them. Do it for them. Uh, this isn't the only time they're doing this. Clean Green Springfield is uh, doing another one of these, I think, May. Uh but we'll uh, we'll we'll let you know. We'll for keep sure you posted. But as this is your shot. Closer. Okay. This one is this Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of uh, junk, American Pickers TV show is coming back to the state of Missouri. Uh, the show features antique hunters looking to buy from people who've been collecting stuff, because sometimes there's stuff in there that can be worth something. <laughs> that should be the tagline to their show. We look for stuff because sometimes there's stuff that could be worth something. No, that's way too long. American, yeah, but it explains it well. American Pickers airs on the History Channel now in season 24 as it comes to the Midwest in June. So uh, now's your chance. If you don't get rid of that old mattress Saturday or, or sometime in May, maybe American Pickers is the place for you. <laughs> yeah. They're always looking for old mattresses. Uh, you may have heard about this. The cicadas are coming. Uh, like lots of them, and by uh, by lots, I don't mean thousands or even hundreds of thousands, but more like hundreds of trillions, which is a number so big that you can't even have any idea how how many that is. Hundreds yeah, of trillions, unbelievable. You can't even comprehend that. Well, for the first time since 1803, two groups of cicadas will emerge at the same time next month in our neck of the woods it hasn't happened since 1803 and it was chaos then uh after they emerge and molt the males will start buzzing to find a mate and we're told the noise can be louder than a a, a plane's engine <laughs> so <laughs> you'll know they're here when they yeah. arrive the cicadas will eventually die off and then it will be another 221 years before the two groups appear together again so we've had the eclipse Last week, we got the cicadas coming. I don't know. I don't know what to sign up, but we better be paying attention. <laughs> Something's it's going so, on. <laughs> it is fascinating. Honestly, it's fascinating. The cicada thing since yep. 1803. Because here's the thing. We don't have to understand all of the significance of it for it to be significant. Some people think, oh, because we couldn't understand the eclipse or it didn't take place. Like not everybody in the entire world saw it. Saw it. Well, Okay, it doesn't mean that it's not significant. It's significant whether we understand the magnitude of it or not. And the same with cicadas, right? I mean, that is fascinating, and I'm sure that there is a very good reason. Anyway. I don't know. There's All right, there's, Mother's there's, Day there's, is coming up soon, and um, we are doing a Mother's Day giveaway here at Around the Ozarks. So uh, we want to treat one special lady with some flowers, a $150 gift card for a flower arrangement provided by the flower merchant, along with a $50 gift card to civil kitchen cool. to eat some tasty food. Yeah. Um, so this contest is happening today, starting right now through May 5th. So you can go right now and register at around the Ozarks.com or download the app which is a free app in any app platform and you can register there as well. Yeah. That's a great so, place to just check in. If you're looking for uh, events that are coming up uh, or you, uh, you want to enter a contest, you can enter contests like daily over there. It's uh, there's some really good contests too. So I recommend around the Ozarks.com. 
Yep, St. Louis Cardinals tickets uh, yep. up for grabs right now. So That's check right. it out. Um, mm -hmm. And thanks for joining us. We appreciate your listenership and or viewership. I don't know if you watch or listen, but either way, we want to say thank you. And thanks to all of our sponsors, always scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we couldn't do it without them. Oh, hey, so. one one quick thing before we go. I went to the uh, a, a football game up at Arrowhead on Saturday. Uh, the, I took the boy up there, and we saw some uh, some soccer. We saw Miami. I was going to say, you need to be more specific about whether yeah, it was yeah, American I was football. It. I was or... getting to it. These people know that there's no real football being played up there, but it's uh, football around the world. Uh, Enter Miami with uh, the greatest player of all time in soccer, I would say. Very clearly, uh, Lionel Messi. He was there taking on Sporting KC. Seventy-two thousand fans for a soccer game. Seventy-two thousand. Yeah, it's the fourth largest crowd ever for an MLS game. If and I would have known that there were seventy-two thousand people, I would have reconsidered letting you go because well, it would have made me so nervous. That happens at Arrowhead people every in week, in and the it fall. makes me nervous every week. For people, because my it was, friends uh, are there. Man, it was a great atmosphere. It was so much fun. It was a really good game. Five goals scored, one of them by Messi. He had an incredible assist, too. He had a dead ball where he, he almost scored. It was uh, it was just a lot of fun, and Griffin enjoyed it. We had to drive back late Saturday night, so that wasn't so great. For me, he slept, but uh, <laughs> but we had a really good time. It was a, it was a good weekend, and uh, then we got to watch him play, or I got to watch him play yesterday. In Springfield. So I got a little so. sun and it was nice to sit outside. It was a wonderful afternoon. Here comes the sun. Good times. All right. Now um, all right. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys had fun. It looked awesome. 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 Yep. We'll see you on Tuesday. Okay. We'll see you then. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. We are waking up with temperatures near 60 degrees this morning, a warm start, and yes, we're heading to the 80s again this afternoon. What a weekend across the Ozarks. Man, everybody's getting spring fever, buying their plants, planting everything. Uh, beautiful weekend for outdoor activities. A little bit breezy, and that's going to be the case today, too. Things are happening in the forecast this week, too. We've got a lot to talk about, starting off with kind of a bang in the forecast tonight with some strong to severe storms that are possible late this evening into the overnight hours into Tuesday, in fact. However, it's going to be pretty nice through most of the afternoon on the Monday. So a slow start if you haven't been paying attention to the severe chance. Well, you don't have to worry about it as an imminent threat during the daylight hours today. I really think the better chance for strong to severe weather is going to hold off until tonight into Tuesday. What we're waking up to, though, are very warm temperatures and a south wind. South wind is going to be breezy today, and that's one of the headlines. Incredibly windy conditions are going to build into the Ozarks, especially tomorrow. But you'll notice the breeze today, high temperature of 82 degrees this afternoon, a southeast wind that could gust to 30 miles an hour. So it will be breezy today, but warm. And I think most of the day we are going to stay dry. The weather setup is this. A warm front has moved into about central Missouri this morning, close to I-70. I think it's going to stay there through most of the day. It kind of stalls out. And this creates a boundary where we could see some showers and storms later today. So while I don't think we see a whole lot of storm activity in Springfield proper, anybody traveling or if you have friends or family up near Kansas City, you know, Columbia, St. Louis, they're closer to the warm front. And that's where I think we could have a few thunderstorms develop as early as this afternoon. The better chance, though, is going to arrive this evening and late tonight into early Tuesday out ahead of the cold front that will be moving through the Ozarks. The severe weather chances today during the daylight hours, they really exist out to our west. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, they're near what we call a dry line, which oftentimes you may hear about in the springtime season when we're talking about severe weather. But the dry line is out to our west, and that's where severe storms are really going to stay focused focus during the daylight hours today. And then this complex of storms will move into the Ozarks late tonight into early Tuesday. I think the main threats for us tonight are going to be for large damaging hail and 
very gusty winds. I mean, even the sustained winds will be pretty incredible ahead of the cold front on Tuesday. We're talking maybe gusts to 45, close to 50 mile an hour, non thunderstorm winds. It's going to be wild, really heavy winds in the forecast on Tuesday. And then it comes a temperature drop for the second half of the week. We're going to see uh, still some unsettled weather, but also the chance for much cooler air to build into our part of the country. Enjoy the warmth while it's out there. The cold front doesn't actually push through until late in the day on Tuesday. And uh, I think we're in the 80s out ahead of it. We do have a chance for showers and thunderstorms. I told you that the better chance during the daylight hours today is going to be up in central Missouri. And then for us overnight tonight into early in the day on Tuesday, we're going to be tracking some storms through the midday hours. Then we get a little bit of a break, but unsettled weather is going to stick around for us as we head into this work week's forecast. I have additional chances for rain and storms, as well as a big cool down in this forecast. In fact, much colder for the weekend. Uh, the 80s are going to go away. We're talking highs like back into the 50s for Saturday, and it's looking rather cold. I'll have to keep a very close eye on that morning low temperature for Saturday morning too. Uh, we could be talking close to freezing territory, so that's something that I'll be watching as the week goes on. Today, high temperature of 82 degrees. There will be places, though, that get a bit warmer than that. I think if you're south of Springfield, south of I-44 into northern Arkansas, you may head to the mid-80s today. It'll be really warm across the region. Strong and severe thunderstorms are in the forecast then late tonight into early tomorrow. Winds gusting tomorrow to 50 miles an hour. Seriously, it's going to be a super windy day. Not a good day to choose for outdoor activities, but the temps will still remain pretty warm. 80 degrees still possible on Tuesday. It's even still warm around here by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures look comfortable the real push of cold air, it's lagging behind that front a bit, and it's going to drop our temperature by the time we get to late in the week. Highs fall to the 60s on Friday with more rain chances in the forecast. And then I told you about that drop on Saturday. We could be in the 50s for highs on Saturday. It looks really kind of chilly. So a little bit of back and forth here in the seven-day forecast and a lot to keep track of. Around the country, what's happening? Heavy rain and mountain snow out in the west over the weekend. You probably saw that on some of the headlines. Severe storms are expected in the plains today. So big heads up for our friends out west, closer to that dry line. It's the same storm system that's going to bring us a chance for strong to severe storms tonight into early tomorrow. Then we have this well above average temperature forecast for most of the central and eastern United States to start off the work week. I told you we're very warm all through the forecast today, tomorrow, even into late in the week. So a lot going on, but at least we're on the warm side of things. And today, at least for the most part, we're going to stay rain free. Our storm chances likely are going to begin well after dark tonight, closer to 9, 10 p.m. And as I said, I think the main risks here are going to be for some hail and high wind. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia Question of the Day. This is the question that I left you with last week. Kind of a fun one. Which of these delicious foods is technically considered a Western dish in Japan? A, sushi. B, curry. C, ramen or D, tofu? Well, if you logged on and guessed B, curry, then your correct answer was entered to win a pair of St. Louis Cardinals tickets. So congrats if B was your choice. Uh, but we know what you're thinking. Curry, in all of its forms, it's not actually, we don't think of it as a Western food. Uh, although it is originating from India, the dish made its way to Japan via the British in the late 1800s. And um, they think of it, they consider it to be a Western dish in Japan. Uh, curry usually made with onions, carrots, potatoes, and poured over white rice for a simple but tasty meal. I love curry. I might have to make some of that this week. Curry chicken, delicious. All right, here's your question that I'll leave you with for tomorrow. 80% of all pretzels made in the United States come from which state? Do you think it is A, Rhode Island, B, Connecticut, C, Pennsylvania, or D, Massachusetts? Pretzels. We're talking like, you know, the pretzels that come bagged, hard pretzels and soft pretzels, all pretzels. If they're made in the United States, which state do you think is our biggest pretzel producer? Rhode Island, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, or Massachusetts? 
you can log on to the website and enter your guess. That's at aroundtheozarks.com. By the way, there's also a weather forecast there updated constantly. So if you need weather information later today, head on over to the website. You can find the forecast. I've got you updated all day long, every single day. That's at aroundtheozarks.com. Thank you so much for listening on this Monday morning. I hope you enjoy the warm but breezy afternoon today. High temperature of 82 Strong to severe storms with the potential for hail and wind in the forecast after dark tonight through early in the day on Tuesday. We'll even have some storms around by midday on Tuesday. And it gets really, really windy around the Ozarks tomorrow. I'll be back with you tomorrow morning to chat with you again. We'll talk more about that severe chance and the high winds expected on Tuesday. Have a great day.